I woke up naturally this morning, no alarm needed. I'm working from home and my body was telling me, take me fishing. You know what they say, always listen to your body. So down the canal, first cast, a feisty roach. Not bad, although it is perch really that I'm after. I'll settle for this particular fish. And the reason I'll settle for it is because I'm off the mark. And the second fish, certainly not a blanker this morning, they seem to be out there in numbers. Second cast, another roach. As you saw just now, I'm float fishing. I do tend to ledger a lot, very convenient, but I've also got a float rod made up. And I went into my tackle room this morning and I saw that there and I just fancied doing some float fishing. It's like going back to when I was a kid, my first fish was on the canal. It was the Staff's Worcestershire Canal in that instance. Oh, and another one there. And it's a perch. And it was at the Bratch, which is just outside Wombourne. This time, red maggot and a perch. It's hooked nice and cleanly there, which is what you want. And it's a small fish, but it's my target for today. And also, it's my favorite perch. I do love them. Talking of that first gudgeon, it's bringing back all the memories. I can picture that first fish right now as if it happened yesterday. But we're talking 1960s, so a considerable number of years ago. Fishing down the side, right at the start of the lock, where I am today, on another section of canal. And the float went in what I now know, or very quickly realized as I started to fish back then, was a, a gudgeon bite. You can tell, can't you? You can tell the way that a float goes, or the way that a rod tip reacts, or even the fight itself, what sort of fish you've got on. Not always, not 100%, there are one or two surprises. But generally speaking, you do know. Let's face it, when a 10 pound barbel takes the bait, you know that it's not a perch, you know that it's not a chub. You even know that it's not a smaller barbel because they fight differently. And that thrill of catching that first fish all those years ago, it's never left me. And that's why when I woke up this morning, I thought, I've got maggots in the house, I've got some brown crumb, my tackle is already made up. Let's go for a session on the canal. And that was the beginning of a bite there, I think, it didn't develop. There is quite a bit of debris on the surface of the canal. So, and movement as well. It is difficult to uh, keep your bait still, to keep your float still. It's getting buffeted by the, the current and the objects on the surface. I'm fine now, I'm fishing quite close in. Being a lock, of course being a brick structure, stone structure goes right the way down to the bottom and you've got the deeper water in my case five feet, we're talking the canal, right under the rod tip, right at the side in fact. So you don't need to necessarily cast out too far. Well, I can't here because I'm at the start of a lock. So it is quite narrow. It's where the lock, the, the narrow water that comes out, the channel starts to broaden. Always a fish holding feature on any canal. I'll be back with some more fish. See you shortly. True to my word, they're certainly lively today. Lively in the water and out of it as well. The biggest perch so far, the biggest fish so far, not massive, but I'll tell you what, they're great, aren't they? I'm having a real good session so far. After those initial roach, the perch moved in so did the rain, and I, that's why I've got my brolly there. I'm having to hold on to it sometimes. There's a, a gust that comes through, and it is brickwork, so I can't 
poke it in to the ground. Just noticed as well my towel. I've had about 30 perch by the way so far. I haven't counted or I've lost count because I've had so many in just a short session. Just notice my towel. I think this is the end of the road for this one and I don't know if you can make out there but it was the Welsh flag so I'm afraid it's a case of Hoilvar Dregork. Da Borki, goodbye to the Welsh dragon. It served me well, but unfortunately, like these things do, it's going to end up in the rubbish bin when I get home.